Hello, Monsieur. I haven't seen you for a while. What's new with you? You were gone to visit the relatives, weren't you? Yes, I was. I learned about the place where we came from, why we are here, and where we are going. Oh, I would love to hear about that. Can you tell me? Sure, let me see. Where should we begin? Um, a long time ago, in a heaven not far away. Wait a minute! Are you sure we're in the right story? Uh, this is China, isn't it? Not Tatooine? <laughs> of course this is China. But I don't, didn't know how to tell you about the place you came from. Let me see. I think I know a song about it. This is how it goes. I lived in heaven a long time ago, it is true. Love there and love there with people on the sword in true. Then have me for the presenting of your two prophets. All of us are going to the salvation of you. And the salvation of you did something that we have done. So we know the truth. Heaven, your father is waiting for me? <coughs> yes, except they need your help to reach perfection. How can I help them? I'm not even perfect myself. How can I help them be something I'm not? What you need is a personal trainer. Where can I get one of those? Well, there's this camp I've heard about called Perfection Canyon. I think that will be a good place to start. Sounds great. Little sister, little sister, come on, we're going to perfection and pending. Yeah, well, let's hear your, your yours. 
Adam fell down. Something 
hair would want. I guess we should be thinking about becoming someone our perfect guy would want. I'm gonna be a girl we're waiting for. Woo! We're all gonna be what our boys are looking for. I've got one more scripture I want us to learn. It's a bonus scripture because you all do so well memorizing those other scriptures. It is the first part of Moroni, chapter 10, verse 32. Can you read this for us? Yeah. Come unto Christ and be perfect in him and deny yourselves of all ungodliness. Very good. Nashi Fu, are there any words or phrases in that verse that stand out to you? Yes. Come unto Christ. Explain. To me, it means that I need to humble myself enough to accept this ultimate invitation. I need to quit pursuing my own wants and desires and come to Christ and do what he wants me to do. Thank you, Shifu. Does anyone else have anything that stands out to them? I like that part about myself denying myself of all godliness. I am the only one who is in control of my decision. I am responsible for my decision I make. No one is forcing me to choose me from right or wrong. My, it's my choice. Very good, Shanto. Anything else? I like the phrase, and be perfected in him. I always thought I had to be perfect before I came to Christ, but I don't need to be. If I come unto him, he'll help me become perfect. That brings me so much peace. I thought I had to do it all on my own, but I don't. He'll help me. These are wonderful truths we have learned. I'm so grateful I had the opportunity to learn, to learn them with you. Thank you. Look at me. I never thought that I could pass for a perfect daughter. Can it be? I've not understood my part. Now I see that if I just come unto Jesus Christ, He will help to change my heart. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Is that him? Then will my 